Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. This is dealing with your boy, Yo Gotti. And one of his today was his homeboy, uh, Big Capo's funeral. CMG Big Capo that actually called him K-Dog. You know, if y'all not familiar with the story, last week or about a week and a half ago, k Dog, aka Big Capo, he was shot and killed, you know what I'm saying? Based on the whole situation that went sour. Some people want to associate it to the whole young Dolph being sent up, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, we can only have our, our opinions behind that because there's no real factual evidence based on if, again, Big Capo, CMG Big Capo was sent up behind young Dolph being sent up as well. You know, we're going to pay our respects to Big Capo, his family, say condolences. But as always, let's first pay our respects to Young Dolph and say rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. Shout out to the Pepper Route Empire and much love to all my folks in Dolph land. Let's get back to the story at hand. So, yeah, man, some people, again, trying to associate it to uh, CMG, uh, Big Capo, him being sent up is tied into Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time. Some people do know that Big Capo, he did have a situation, you know what I'm saying, um, dealing with on, on, the, on South Memphis, you know what I'm saying, where he got into a little uh, situation about some money, you know what I'm saying, not too long ago. So some people um, trying to think if, they had, if the person had came back, you know what I'm saying. Um, not only that, like I said, it's just, it's some scenarios, you know what I'm saying. Right now, again, uh, um, uh, investigators, detectives, they're trying to find the motives, they're trying to find um, the actual cause of the whole situation but again, as y'all see in the thumbnail, you know what I'm saying, or should I say y'all read the title, that Yo Gotti had paid the family around 50k, now, um, out of that 50k, 30 of that or 20 or 30 of that was going to the funeral, and the other 10, 20 was going to the family, you know what I'm saying and Yo Gotti uh, also responded and said that, you know, he going to make sure that he continue to take care of the family. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with his homeboy, Tommy Demise. You know what I'm saying? He also states it's a sad situation. He going to make sure that, again, he continue to look out for his lo loved ones. And he continue to make sure that the, uh, the people don't forget his name. You know what I'm saying? And again, that's a Big Capo, a.k.a. K-Dog. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so, and... Also with that, you know, you got Yo Gotti brother, Big Juke, because this is actually Big Capo. He's actually one of um, Big Juke close friends, you know what I'm saying? They actually grew up with one another. Like, they grew up, they knew each other since childhood, you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why Yo Gotti feels this way. And at the same time, Big Juke feels the same way, you know what I'm saying? And it was some people word was that, you know, allegedly Big Juke, he had to send some of his guys out there to go, you know what I'm saying, look for the dude who had something to do with um, Big Capo being sent up. You know what I'm saying? Again, we, you know, um, the fans, supporters and all that, right, uh, we just want a lot of this to calm down and be at ease because we got families and things like that to support. I know everybody do, but at the same time, like, we're throwing our family in the middle of it, like, when we get sent up, you know what I'm saying? Because I always said, like, beef don't only end and start, like, when you want it to. It's going to continue, you know what I'm saying? It'll continue. It's, it'll pass on. And that's the reason why beefs are passed on through generations, you know what I'm saying? Because somebody would feel like, all right, since I had a discontent with you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure I'm on, I'm going to make sure that this cycle goes on to your to the next generation. So what I mean is that again, say if I got a discontent with somebody and I I limit them because I got plugs and all that, I could limit their mobility, right? So not only do I limit their mobility, I make sure that I limit their children, their seeds mobility as well, you know what I'm saying? And that has a lot to do with this you know what I'm saying, what's going on, because what I'm saying is, like, with all this back and forth, with all this, you know what I'm saying, blickies being used on one another, again, we're only stopping in the next generation growth, because 
they not they not going to have their uh, father in their life. You know what I'm saying? And it's a messed up situation because nobody wants to go through that knowing like this could have been avoided is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? If people would have thought on a grander scale as far as like how would this not only affect today but tomorrow, I believe a lot of people would limit the amount of like uh, criminal activity and amount of like just other things that they would do to limit them being around their their family as a whole. You know what I'm saying? And being able to limit them limit themselves on being able to recreate themselves and create something in the world. You know what I'm saying? But you that's not on your mind when you're constantly like being at odds with somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not thinking right. You know, you never take taking the time to actually think, all right, if I do this, then this may affect the next step. You know what I'm saying? If I don't do this, then it's going to limit my growth. You know what I'm saying? So I believe, like, we just need to make better decisions. And I'm, the reason why I'm saying all this is based around, again, Big Capital's funeral. Because there's been a lot of funerals. There's been a lot of back and forth, again, ever since Young Dolph got sent up. At the same time, we yes, we're familiar that a lot of this has been happening before Young Dolph got sent up. But we know and we also understand that uh, these things were going to happen. That it was going to be some back and forth, you know what I'm saying, based on the magnitude and the amount of love that Young Dolph had, not only in South Memphis, but in Tennessee as a whole. Not only in, just in Tennessee, Atlanta, Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Like Young Dolph had folks everywhere. And so them, them, his guys, his folks, his supporters, you know what I'm saying, um, the associates of Paper Route feel, you know what I'm saying, it's their duty to uh, uh, stand up for Young Dolph. You feel what I'm saying? Or should, should we say step for Young Dolph, you know what I'm saying? And, yes, we had some instances like where we had uh, the concert, where Yo Gotti's concert, you know what I'm saying, had came up to, uh, had abrupted, had could I say uh, ended shortly because of some Young Dolph supporters allegedly you know what I'm saying had came and like told him he had to get up out of there in other words you know what I'm saying it's some other words that was used but for YouTube purposes we ain't gonna get into that but y'all understand what I'm saying and this again this been going on for a minute it's, it happened in Houston you know what I'm saying because again like I just stated uh, young Dolph had fed a lot of families, and when he got sent up, you know what I'm saying, that limited, that limited the amount of uh, the resources that these people was getting because they was getting it through Young Dolph, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, they was trying to establish themselves for that they wouldn't need Young Dolph no more, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, uh, trying to build themselves where they keep, they got to keep needing him for some type of assistance for people to take them seriously, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is like they was building themselves up to be looked at as more of a of a professional, business-minded person rather than a person who's looked at who just come from the slums, you know what I'm saying? Because we understand how like we looked at at a certain way if we don't if we don't carry ourselves a certain way, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, like look it, we could have the money, you know what I'm saying? And like, but the money will only get us get us so far if we don't have if we don't carry that mature professionalism with us and understand that like we can't talk certain ways and everywhere in public because people we understand people won't take us seriously and that's what I mean by Young Dolph was in the role where he was establishing himself, where establishing others to where they won't need him all the time they will already be at that magnitude that people will already take them and whatever they business they're trying to conduct they will take them seriously without young dog being present you feel what i'm saying but again this video was based on the funeral of uh capo aka uh, uh k dog you know what i'm saying again who was yo Gotti's uh brother big juke he, that was his best friend and again, he got sent up about a week ago, a little over a week ago. It was like three people, you know what I'm saying, that got sent up, and he was one of them. Um, his brother, a jackpot, you know what I'm saying, he got he got sent to the bing behind it. Some people trying to think like the ties association with jackpot was doing, or again, it could be a ties in association to a young dog being sent up. 
You know what I'm saying? But hey, we just want all this uh, uh, activity, you know what I'm saying, for, for our, our next generation's sake. We just want all this to be at ease. You feel what I'm saying? But as always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.